In this video, I will be talking about the Three Kingdoms period of China, focusing on the many talented heroes of that time. Yan Liang Historically, little is known about Yan Liang. We know he was a skilled warrior, but died in battle nonetheless in the year 200. He was a military general who served under the warlord Yuan Shao of the wealthy Yuan clan, who were a recognised prominent family throughout the Han dynasty. In the year 190, Yuan Shao was nominated by Tao Tao to lead the anti Dongzhuo alliance. He marched his armies towards the capital city Luoyang, where he held a war council with the other alliance members. Sun Jian's army met strong resistance from the general Hua Xiong. Yuan regretted not bringing Yan Liang or Wen Chao, his two most talented fighters, to see Shui Gate, after Hua Xiong proved too much for his other officers. What a pity my two able generals Yan Liang and Wen Chao are not here, then should we have someone who would not fear this Hua Xiong. By the year 200, Yuan Shao had defeated his neighbouring warlords and solidified his position in the north. He then turned his attention south, towards his old friend and rival, Tao Tao. He marched his 100,000 man strong army towards Tao Tao's capital city, Chu Chang. He planned to send Yan Liang's unit ahead of the main army to secure a safe passage across the Yellow River by setting up camp on the southern side. Yuan Shao's strategist at the time, Zhu Xu, advised against it. He believed Yan Liang was too dim-witted to handle the responsibility alone, and so advised that Shan Yu Chong and Guo Tu accompany him to ensure the success of the mission. Shan Yu Chong was one of Yuan Shao's most trusted officers, whilst Guo Tu was well versed in strategy. Despite this wise suggestion, Yuan Shao still believed Yan Liang was most suited to be commander. This frustrated Zhou Chu, who then feigned illness and refused to see anyone. Yuan Shao in turn became angry and stripped Zhu Xu of his titles, spreading them amongst Yan Liang, Shun Yu Chong and Guo Tu. Yuan then ordered them across the Yellow River, where they encountered the Wei army at Bo Ma. Not long before this conflict, Cao Cao had defeated the mighty warrior Lu Bu, and recruited many of his generals. Two of them, Song Xian and Wei Xu, were quickly appointed to lead detachments against Yan Liang, but both of them failed and were slain by him. Xu Huang, who was named as one of the five elite generals of his time, was also wounded in combat and forced to flee when he was ordered to deal with Yan Liang. The next day, Guan Yu was sat with Tao Tao, observing the battlefield. Tao Tao distracted Yuan Shao's main force by moving west along the river, forcing him to follow. At the same time, he sent Guan Yu and Zhang Liao the other way to assist the struggling detachments fighting against Yan Liang. Guan noticed Yan Liang's chariot from a distance and so rode out to challenge him. He pierced straight through the enemy formation towards him and killed him in one bout. 